Over recent years, Civity multiple units constructed by CAF have become amongst one of the most common trains in the UK beyond the south of England, with over 200 Civity based trains either currently in operation or awaiting introduction. Civity platform units range from two car 100 miles per hour or 160 km per hour capable diesel multiple units to five car electric multiple units capable of travelling at 125 miles per hour or 200 km per hour. The latter being the Class 397 operated by Transpennine Trains, formerly Transpennine Express. The 397s operate from Manchester Airport to Glasgow and Edinburgh and from Liverpool Lime Street to Glasgow. The majority of passengers will however be more familiar with the other multiple unit variants such as the Class 331 EMU and Class 195 DMU, both of which are operated by Northern. In addition, Transport for Wales has 77 Class 197 DMUs and West Midlands Railway has 26 Class 196 DMUs. The 195s, 196s and 197s are all very similar mechanically, however the 196s and 197s differ from the 195s as they have cab end connectors and I'd say more aggressive styling, which seems to divide opinion. WMR's Class 196 and TFW's 197 units look very similar, however the 196 does have a different window arrangement and they have slightly more powerful engines than the 197s. All three of the DMU variants, however, share the same six-cylinder M2 engines married to six-speed ZF Ecolife hydromechanical transmissions. The 6H1800R85 engines are available with two power ratings, from 509 horsepower or 375 kilowatts to 523 horsepower or 390 kilowatts. From what I can tell, Northern's and WMR's units are fitted with the 520 horsepower variants, whilst TFW's 197s are fitted with the slightly less powerful 509 horsepower units. But that still means that a two-car unit has more than 1,000 horsepower, whilst a three-car set has over 1,500, which is significantly more than the Class 172, but noticeably less than a Class 185. Despite the similarities between the DMU classes, they are fitted with very different interiors, with the 195s having more table seats than Class 196s and 7s. But despite this, Northern sets have more seats than TFW's units. It does seem a bit strange that Northern's units have more seats than the TFW units, despite having more table seats. However, the 197s have a large catering area, which takes up quite a lot of space which, when you have two two-car sets working in multiple, equates to a significant amount of lost seating capacity. In my opinion, WMR's and Northern seats are about the same in terms of comfort, despite looking noticeably different, but the 196 interiors have more of a premium feel versus the 195. The carriage lengths of the 195s, 6s and 7s are all the same, however WMR's units have 5 windows between the two sets of doors, whilst the 195s and 197s both have 4 windows. I've been told that this means that the seats on the Class 196s line up better with the windows, whilst TFW's units do suffer from poor seat window alignment. The Class 331 variants are electric multiple units operated by Northern with 31 three car sets and 12 four car sets. The three car units work mostly between Manchester Airport and Blackpool North and from Liverpool Lime Street to Blackpool North, whilst the four car sets work in West Yorkshire alongside Class 333s, working Leeds and Bradford Foster Square to Ilkley and Skipton and Leeds to Doncaster stopping services. The Class 331 feels almost identical to the Class 195, however are obviously quieter and accelerate noticeably quicker than the diesel variants. Internally though, the 331s have a similar if not identical seating layout to the 195s. Despite the differences between the 195s, 67s and 331s, there are some noticeable similarities, such as the ride quality, which to be honest, in my opinion, isn't great and I can still never manage to ignore the knocking which comes from the bogies. But I do appreciate that the average passenger would probably not notice the knock, if I'm being honest.
The ride on the other hand does seem to divide opinion which to me is very firm and jarring unless the train is travelling on anything other than well maintained continuously welded rail. But I'd still argue that they are an upgrade from sprinters even perhaps the class 158 but maybe a bit of a downgrade from class 170s and 175s which the Civity units have also replaced. The units described so far are all very similar despite the class 196 and 7 looking different to the class 195s and class 331s. The class 397 on the other hand feels like a completely different train despite sharing the same Civity platform. The 397s operated by Transpennine trains are a premium long distance EMU with different door arrangements to the other UK Civity units as well as having aerodynamic front ends to help them achieve the top speed of 125 miles per hour or 200 kilometers per hour. The 397s, despite having a higher top speed than the 331s, actually accelerate more slowly, with a maximum acceleration of 0.9 meters per second squared, whilst the 331s have a maximum acceleration of 1.3 meters per second squared. But this is unsurprising, as the 397s are designed to operate on services with relatively few stops, while the 331s are designed to work on local services with more stops. The Class 397 does look great from the outside, and even internally looks good. However, the seats in my opinion are very firm, which does let the units down. The units are very quiet inside, and there doesn't appear to be the same knocking noise which the other Civity trains suffer with. However, during my last journey on a 397, I was sat in a driving vehicle which has a door separating the cycle storage area, which is above the bogey, from the passenger compartment, so that would help to reduce any noise. Whilst the quality of the calf built vehicles is often a source of derision, the Civity based trains have filled a gap in the market and CAF has been able to quickly deliver DMUs which has helped to ease the DMU crisis that resulted from the PRM requirements deadline and the withdrawal of PACES. And whilst the Civity DMUs aren't quite as ubiquitous in Britain as Turbo Stars, there's every possibility that more Civity DMUs could be ordered as Northern seeks to find a replacement for its large fleet of aging 150s, 155s, 156s and 158 Sprinters. So whilst I've personally so far been unimpressed with the Civity fleet, apart from the 397s, I do recognise that they serve a purpose and are certainly a lot better than class 142 and 144 Pacers, and better than class 150s, 153s, 155s and 156 Sprinters, which are almost 40 years old, and arguably better than 158 Express Sprinters.